Welcome back to downtime. Welcome back uh, to the darkest of dungeons. Spooky, Spooky scary skeletons and shivers down my spine. I just want to point out that I haven't played this, but why it fucking cheats? <laughs> I did boxes. not. Those are extra characters and skins. <laughs> fucking cheater, dude. It's like campaign. Darkest. Uh, okay, so this is like. Actually, no, uh, normal, yeah. Radiant Chemist is still challenging. Uh, do for Darkest. I think Darkest is like the, the normal. Yeah, it's, there we go. Wait. Do you not want Stygian? But it'd be funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, if you want to try it, you can try it, but I do not, you will not get far. And just, just uh, hit, just click. Oh, yeah, are you gonna name it? <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, welcome to Darkest Dungeon. Darkest Butt. Darkest Butt. Can't wait to see uh, Chance play this game. He keeps telling me he's a tactical genius in RPGs. Okay, so. I've never said that. I know, but you, you have been the only one that says that. <laughs> when I am very subpar. It's I'll implied. <laughs> the only reason that I'm good is I'm better at you than you. Oh, you play a little bit of Fire Emblem. Like, we should have done that. We should have done this. You're not good at this game. You missed a character. Why? How could you? <laughs> you missed a very crucial character. <laughs> I tried. I tried. But yeah, this is uh, this game is hard. That's about it. <laughs> okay. We'll see. Yep. You know, um, you guys talked about it with your podcast uh, before. Um, Boys Night Podcast. Boys Night Podcast. Uh, this game is very much Elder Tor, like uh, Cthulhu stuff like that. Very weird and crazy and strange. Okay, you shouldn't say we talked about it. Probably Radiant. Well, whoever you guys were like saying, there's a movie coming out. That's about it. Oh uh, yeah, the horror movie that's coming out. So you guys did we talk about find it. Our redemption. Also, this dude narrates, and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> that movie probably we will find our redemption. <laughs> that movie will already be out by the time this episode's up. Eh, probably depending on what we decide our upload schedule to be because uh, we're super smart and, uh... oh there's actually like an opening like thing in this game oh. now what it used to be you just start now there's like a starting game uh when Great. the stale co stage got destroyed and the caretake caretaker uh gone you will have to make the journey to hamlet on foot to the hamlet thank you okay um... yeah, it's loading it's loading oh i thought i was like <laughs> it's got a little of those mods you know instant kill um <laughs> <laughs> the god mode, uh, instant items. Yeah, there's a lot to go. Okay, go. cheater Click. boy. <laughs> oh, oh dude! What the hell? Yeah. So you have characters. Uh, map navigation. You are currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. And then close that. So the map is on the bottom right. What? It's the map icon. There you go. That, that, the map icon. There you go. So now you. So you this whole game is a dungeon dungeon crawler basically okay. to move you click on the next room and there's a hallway that connects it that's randomly generated okay and there's stuff in the hallway that as you move yeah it's just uh, while in the hallway press d to move forward and a to move back if you prefer the mouse you can click ahead or behind the party to move them yeah so this game is very much just mouse driven or you can use yeah walking along hey Shake you. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. So everybody has a speed stat. Kill the enemy. Combat is turn based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on a highlighted target. If you can't select a particular skill, it's because that hero needs to be standing on a different spot or there are no valid targets. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. Okay, so these are the skills? So on the on the top, those are the skills. Oh. Open vein, grape shot, blast, and then he has a couple other ones that if you need to be in a different spot. Oh. The yellow. On the left is what spot you need to be in. It's a party of four. Currently, you're a party of two. Okay. Um, and then that's the spot you need to be in. And then the red is what it'll hit. And so you're a party of four, and usually the enemies are in a party of four. Currently, it's just one, so you, it could teach you. Okay, so I imagine I could just fucking hit them, right? Yep, you just click on that, and you can click them. <laughs> now he's a bleed, and he has a debuff. If you go mouse over his name, or over his, uh, his life bar... You can see that he has effects. So he has two damage, two damage for every round from bleeding, okay. and he has debuff. Uh, and then this is uh, the Crusader dude. He can just hit. He can do accusations. Okay. Uh, Game is very stat based. This fucking. What I am. Give them no quarter. And you get loot. Each item, if you take it, will occupy space in your inventory. Mouse over items to show details about them. This works in your inventory too. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, yes. Yeah. Take them. I don't know. You just don't like money. 
What? He's, he'll bleed over time. Oh. Okay. And then you have a camp. Interactive objects, curios. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look in this tent. You can also just not do it if you don't want to. I mean, why not? And then the person you have selected. Oh, you got a bunch of money. There is much what were you saying? Person you selected what? Uh, if, so the person you have selected, where the little yellow bar is, yeah. you can click on the other person. That person is the one who will check stuff. Oh. Sometimes there's traps. So the person you have selected will check it, and then they get hit. Now you're in the room. Now you gotta fight. Oh my goodness. You're already hurt. Boys are hurt. So now you have all your abilities available, I guess. Pistol shot. Uh, does damage. Grape shot. Diva. So crazy. I know, there's a lot here. Let's do this. Just a big boy. He has a lot of health. He goes. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Am I gonna die? <laughs> you might. Do I have anything to heal? Uh, he does, I think. No, he doesn't. He has no heals. <laughs> there are healing characters. Healing is a very big part of this game. The f so, Zealous Oxidation hits both of them. Okay, well, I'm Actually, it's just him. He takes up two spots. Cool. Nice. <laughs> Sick. I think I get blanket fired again. Your highway man's gonna die! Jeez. Oh my god! He's totally gonna die. Uh, uh bypass st that won't work. Grape shot blast. That's everybody. Grape shot blast will definitely hit everybody. Because it's three people, not just two. There you go. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, and so probably not bad. Zealous Accusation. Probably something bigger. Stunning blow. You could stun somebody. 100% yeah. chance to stun. They have resistance to it. Nope. <laughs> oh, good. He didn't go after the other guy. He's going after you now. And now you're in trouble. Oh. Oh, no. Fuck, man. No, Dismas. Dismas, <laughs> Dismas no. the highway man. No, Dismas. Come on, man. You gotta survive. You gotta live. Oh, no. He's dead. So in this game, just like in D&D, &D, when you go to zero hit points, you're not dead. Okay. When a hero is zero, is zero HP, they're at death's door. While in this state, they will suffer stat penalties, plus any further damage is a chance to kill them. You don't have anybody to heal, so there's nothing you really can do about it. Okay. So every time that you take damage has a chance to kill him. Alright, well. <laughs> well, he's fucking dead. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, I do have fucking f healing items. Yeah, you do, but I have two of them. <laughs> well, I didn't know that. Well, I didn't know. I didn't see it either. <laughs> Shit, man. Well, I mean, Scott. do what you can. Hey, you got him. So, also, corpses are a thing. When most monsters die, they leave corpses. Corpses act as temporary obstacles that eventually go away on their own. You can tap corpses to destroy them faster, but often a better approach to use ranged skills, push-pull skills, and even corpse-clearing special skills that move that some heroes possess. Monsters killed bleed, blight, or crits leave no corpses at all. And not everybody leaves a corpse, I don't think. So now, you've got this big old boy in your way. I got ranged. Yeah. Well, not really. Yeah, he is. That's pretty right there. Yeah, but it doesn't. Oh. It doesn't go. It doesn't go three. It goes two. Uh, so you have to deal with that corpse first. This is just. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So how do I tell which one does the most damage? Uh, so it's just ACC base. Oh, okay. Yep. Mine is fucking. Yep. Get out of here. I oh think, and actually, we'll say. I might actually die. You might. I oh, dodged it. You're good. So if you click on an ability and then go over to the object you're going to attack, uh, hero damage 3 to 6. So over there on the right-hand side, chance to hit, chance to crit, okay. hero damage. Oh. So there's 4 to 8, 6 to 12, so that's what you want to be using. Okay, well that would have been good info earlier. Well, I didn't know. I'm just watching you play the game. <laughs> that has been a little bit since I played this game. I recently like booted it back up just to check it, see how I was doing, and then... Didn't so really there's no it. way to bring him back, right? No, he's dead forever. Okay, cool. <laughs> nope, there is no revives. Alright, well he dodged it. Ten percent chance to dodge, I guess. Uh, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> Look all the stuff you get. If only you had someone to share it with. <laughs> Alright, take well, it all. Yeah, I mean 
And open that chesty chest. After you completed the requirements of a chest, you have the option to return to town at any time. Just click the crest. You don't need to return to the starting room of the dungeon to exit. So anytime you complete the quest, you can just leave. It's quest, not chest. Sorry, quest. Well, there is a chest. So uh, just continue adventuring. Yeah, oh, click that. End, right? Click that. See, and then top left, you can just click anytime oh. you want. But you have a chest in front of you you can open. Well, open the chest. Hold on, I want uh, to... Right click. <sighs> Fat ass. <laughs> Something <laughs> doesn't food. look quite right with this one. Yeah, open it. Yeah, but... Just open it. Oh, it's trap. All right, now you can just leave. <laughs> You know, you're a fucking asshole. I'm just trying to help. Oh, I, I didn't know that you had those <laughs> items, but I know that this thing fucking blights you for some well, reason. I didn't know it blight you, and sometimes it's just, sometimes it's okay. It's just a roll of dice. <sighs> All right. You survived. So, people also have, like, attributes mm -hmm. and, like, uh, personal things, oh. or, like, uh, different traits. So, this guy's a natural swing. He gets extra ACC. Okay. But there's bad ones, too. Like, fear of people or, like, fear of monsters. And it makes them bad against certain things. Fear of your friends dying. Fear of your friends dying. <laughs> Welcome home. All right, you did it. Such as it is. Uh, Big part of the game is stress, too, which is that black and white bar on Reynolds, under Reynolds' name. Uh oh. If your stress gets so far, they become really bad in combat. Or they can be really good, depending on what happens. It's a crazy, crazy okay. thing. Uh... And they have to rest. When your stress gets too high, they're not very good in combat because it's, it's persistent. Okay, so... All right, you did it. So now you gotta go uh, into the ruins. Where's the ruins? So you can close this. Okay. This is the town. You help where you may. On any screen of the game, press A... Or, okay, that's just showing you where you help. Just H. So, and you can go ahead and hit all the exclamation marks. <laughs> Probably should come here. Yep. Uh, you recruit all these here. Yeah. Yep. So this is where you can recruit people. And you might as well just bring them over. I don't think it takes any money. I think you just grab them. And then you go over to the right. Oh. Yep. So now you're gonna get yourself a party of four. It's probably a good thing. Yep. You're definitely gonna While you're here, it. spend some of your starting heirlooms on upgrading the stagecoat afterwards. This increases the number of heroes available here in the future. To upgrade, click the plus symbol on the left. Yep. And then I take heirlooms, which was like the portrait you found when oh. you were adventuring. All of those, there's busts, portraits, deeds, and marks. All four of those take room in your inventory, but you want to have them because that's how you upgrade stuff. Okay. And the money is used for like actually just adventuring. You might as well just upgrade them both, right? Or oh well, there's every every uh, building has these, so I mean you can choose. Probably get the one that gets you the uh, number of available heroes three. Word is traveling. Okay. Ambition is stirring <laughs> yep. in distant cities. How does this? So what those are this? on the left hand side are like the fast ways to get to other buildings where oh, you can just okay. leave and come in here. In time, and this is the story. We'll so and then like uh just so it's just like cutscenes yeah pretty much okay okay and like just ideas and stuff like that uh embark isn't much more you can do in town right now hit embark or you can check all the other yeah, ideas it's like of course i'm gonna oh you can check out the graveyard oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> poor dismas he died he got, in the first week at least he got killed by the fucking big guy yeah he, he, he that's that's how he wanted one to go yeah. right against some big dude and this is how you get a... So these are the items that you can give to other people. Everybody can only hold two, uh, but there are some that are really good, some that are really bad. Some are class-specific. Specific. I mean, I think this is probably pretty smart. Yeah, but it's 5000 That's yeah. a lot of money. That's, like, all my money. Yeah, which you're going to need that money. This is, like, the one game... This is the one, like, adventure-style game where money is very important. Okay. All right, you can now embark. Well, I want to know what these guys do. Oh, right-click on them. Uh, oh, he's light sensitive and clumsy. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 yep. cool. So everybody has a big list of abilities, but you only have to take four while you're adventuring. <laughs> yep. This is a lot of taking at once. Yeah. I'll, it, just, I'll just learn on the yeah, go. Yeah, learn on the go. That's the best way to learn. Uh, She's a healer. She is very important. And you can even see on the top where they're supposed to be in the group. Oh, so she's supposed to be in the back? They're supposed to be like third spot. Apparently third spot's her best spot. And then he's apparently last spot's his best spot. And then she is second, middle. And so then Reynold, the crusader, is first. Okay, so I, I still need to figure out what she does. Oh, she just... She is a great proper. She's Compulsive. So intense need to do specific actions. So, so, every now and again, they will act on their own, and there's nothing you can do about it. 
This game is something else. Yep. I'm already pretty. I'm intrigued, but I'm it's also a good game. annoyed. This uh, is where you select a quest and form an adventuring party of four heroes to embark on it. Click to see quests in their details. Drag heroes and slots to make your party. Yep. So already, Reynold's ready to go. So Reynold is the main character. No, he's not. There is no main character. It's just all these people. He's just, you know, you know, your first dude. Okay, so we're... Oh, so just... Yep, so that so you, these are your quests. You have the Wheeled Cove, Ruins, and Warrens, and Darkest Dungeon, which you can't go to right now. Mm. And then uh, the bullet points, not the bullet points, but the circles are your quests. And on the left-hand side, it says what to, what to do on that quest. Okay, so, yeah, we're doing this one. Test yourself on the mound realm of the fallen ancestor. Take note of how the creatures have taken over, but don't delve too far. Goal is explore 90% of the rooms, okay. and if you get there, or if you finish it, you get those. Okay. As well as everything you get on the uh, on the trip. Okay, okay. Then you go to provision. All right. All right, provisioning for the journey. You want to take different supplies depending on the region you're going to, how long the quest is, and your own ref and your own preferences. But always bring some food and torches. For your first short quest, try bringing at least eight food and four torches. So eight food, four torches. You just click on them. Okay. Uh, da, da. There's eight, four torches. torches. Light level is very important, too, because the lower your light level, the harder the enemies are. Bleeding. That's how Dismas died. <laughs> Basically. Yeah, I'll take one of those. Yep. Uh... And then these items not only can be used in combat, but they're useful in uh, traps and stuff. Sometimes, like the skeleton key, that one chest that you opened at the beginning. Okay. You could have disarmed that trap if you had a key. I'll grab one of those. Yep. Okay. You learn as you go. Embark. Yep. I'm so excited. It's your uh... first first real mission. <laughs> Wait, so did he die in your first run, too? Uh, I actually, when I played this game, it was still, like, in beta, so there oh. was no first mission. Oh, it was okay. just, here's the game, go. You get, like, you get like these four dudes and the high man to start with. You build a party, you just go and have fun. Now there's, like, actually a story and, like, things you can do. <laughs> what, are you scared? Wait, what's the two mean? It means he got a little stressed out. For what? Just adventuring. Adventuring is stressful work. Is it, like, not oh, there's, light? There's a torch. No, you got light. Light's, lights at the top. Okay. So click on that, and you can get a... So if you click... Okay, well, easy there. If you click on that... Click it, on it. I was talking about the sconce behind uh, Reynold. That right there. Hit W or hit... Yeah, there you go. The... Then you can take it. So the top, if you click on that, that automatically uses a torch for you. The bar is how much light there is. Okay. So right now you're at radiant light, which is 100. It gives you a bunch of those bonuses. Stressed okay. out again. <laughs> God. Being the leader is stressful. So I'm sorry, Mr. Ranger. You wouldn't know what it's like. This guy's a bitch. Yeah, you got him. This is going to be easy. Uh, Noxious Blast or Emboldening Vapors or Disorienting Blast. Let's just do normal attacks, I guess. Right? Eh. It does one, but it blights him. And if you go to the blight thing, which is a little thing, it takes five damage every round. That's pretty cool. And it stacks. Back to the face. Stealth? Oh, she, she gets stealth. That's cool. Uh, Some of these abilities light. make your dudes move in the party or party orientation. Oh. Got picked. I'm gonna pick you. Bump in the night. Ooh, that dodge. Ow. What kind of bone? What kind of uh, skeleton takes acid damage? <laughs> Come on now. Oh, you know what he does. Yeah. Smite them fools. <laughs> Another one bites a dust. Oh, wait, so did that get rid of stress? Yeah. He, okay. he, he killed somebody, so it made him feel better. Okay. Nice. <laughs> she is primarily a healer, but I mean... And then he'll die on his turn, because he's blighted. Their formation is broken. You did it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you got a chest! Free chest! Long for us, promise the contents and... Okay. It's unlocked, so you might as well open it. I got a shovel and citrine. Nice. Look at that. Moving on. Uh, you got to do the map. Oh. Oh, no, you got a, ch a chance to scout. So uh, every time you clear a room, you have a chance to scout out what's ahead. And oh. so now you can see, if you go to the next room, there is a curio, an obstacle, and a battle. Okay. And then the next room is empty. Okay. So I, do I go to this room? Yeah. yeah it's okay. the only choice you have. You, okay. have to, you have to check out every... You have to check out 90% of the rooms. So all but one. Wait, so how can I avoid any of these things? So you can't. Okay. You just know they're coming. Okay. Well. 
So, sometimes you have stuff in your way. You can either use your hands, which takes a lot of effort, or you can use a shovel, which you have two of. Okay, or you can just do that. <laughs> I honestly thought that was you shovel. No, you hit the button in the middle to use the item. Okay, well, I didn't know. Well, you could, you could wait. <laughs> you just don't start randomly clicking stuff. Uh, and then you knew this battle was coming. Hey, you got a surprise round, though. Okay, so, okay. Jeez, okay. all your dudes get to go first. Uh, well, let's just fuck these guys up, if possible. Well, yeah. That's what you're here for. This is fucking... Did you get poisoned? Oh, no. he resists. Resisted. It. So he's resistant to this, too? I mean, she was. I don't know about everybody else. Uh, she has a 20% resistance of Blight, which is on the bottom. So, oh. not really. It just you, She just got lucky. He's out of range. Oh. First two. Eh. Two damage on that, and blighted. Okay. So I'm thinking with, like, him and her, I want to fucking try to blight the ones in the back. And Absolutely. The other ones. And then let the other two in front deal with the, everybody else. Uh, I don't know about Night Sean. Uh, nice. One damage. Nice. You got some light back, though. Yeah. Still alive. So, some of these enemies uh, are very annoying. Uh, that's just about your light. As you battle, light goes away. Um, all they do is stress people out. <laughs> and it can be very, very annoying. Oh, no. Not the healer. Okay. Use some mace the face action. Yeah. Bam. Now you got a body to deal with, but I mean. I wish I could just go out of turn, you know? What do you mean? Have like these oh, like, no, you gotta. Everyone has a speed stat, and that determines who goes first. What the fuck? Emboldening Beepers, that's a buff. Okay. Play Grenade, that gets everybody in the back. Her, at least. And you ah. monitor. Good job. Uh oh. Uh -oh. She's gonna push you. Uh oh. You're good. Ah. Didn't get moved. So you could go for that. Well, he, she's gonna die in the blight. Right, so you might as well get the body out of the way. Perfect. Now everybody else can hit the lady. Look at that. I'm so fucking smart. And because he was blighted, he didn't leave a body. And, and I mean, I'm, I'm actually gonna say he's your heal, or turn to heal. There you go. Something that's kind of annoying is that you can heal in combat, but Not you can't out. heal out of combat. So, like, you know, like, always oh, weak. I mean, sometimes you can just take some turns with one person left and just heal up. Yeah. Kind of annoying, it's like, how come I just can't heal any time I want? Yay, gold. Alright, now you continue forward. That was just an alleyway battle. Okay, there we go. Yep. So you have 51 light. As you move and fight, the light goes away. So you have to kind of keep upping the light. If the light goes all the way out, it's just very stressful for your dudes, and monsters can be really challenging. Okay, so... Yep. Is that all that's in this room? That's all. That's, this room is empty. The room on your right has a curio and a battle. The room above has a battle and treasure. And you kind of need to map your way out because uh, you have to clear 90% of the rooms. I mean, you don't have any choice here. You have to come back no matter what. Yeah. Um, so what's a curio? It's one of those uh, objects like um, okay, so like the tent that you saw in the beginning. Pretty much just try to get everything. Yep. I mean, if it's in, like you can choose just to not to do it. Yeah. The curio, because sometimes they're bad. Sometimes they're good. Just, you know, empty pack. Uh, hey, check that out. Fuck around. Yeah, there's a skeleton key out of it, too. Dude, I'm so good. Dude, that light goes by fast. It goes fast. I should have bought more than four torches. Uh-huh. Hey, you can use a skeleton key in here. Uh, what are you going to do? So many, so many options. So many choices. Uh, you can buff people. You well, can plague them. I want to do this. Give her white. Or not. Give her some infection. <laughs> Give her the AIDS. Let's try this again. <laughs> this is HIV. Pure in, in its purest form. Take it. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. Uh... So, Zealous Accusation hits two people at once. Yeah. I don't really want to stun him. Because he's strong. Yeah. Nice. Ah. So it just skips his turn. He has a buff now. So it just make it so you don't just keep stunning him over and over again. As you stun him, they get more resistant to it. Oh, okay. 
and that was a crit, so it stressed people out. Uh, Just like in real life, if I, roll, if I roll a 20 as the DM, you're gonna get stressed out. Yeah. I always get stressed playing, so. Yeah. I think everybody does. That cures Blight and Bleed, that's pretty cool. And that moves her back two spaces I don't want to and stealths her. I think, honestly, I just want to keep fucking blighting people. Okay. Very sound plan. <laughs> My, I got the poison squad over here. <laughs> He's just not strong. Who isn't? Him. What do you mean? He blights people. Well, I mean, you know, like, just straight up damage. Oh, he's not supposed to. He's supposed to blight people. Yeah. That one moves the party around and clears all corpses. You would have nice to have. <laughs> <laughs> In that last fight. <laughs> Poor okay, Dismas. Let's blight him. Everyone must be blighted. Uh oh, He's stressing you out, man. She missed. Stressing me out. Let's just keep healing. Yeah, he needs it. I don't want. I don't want him to die. He's a big all, boy. Of all people, I don't want him to die. <laughs> man, they're agile. Don't even need to get hit. Okay. Don't even need to heal, rather. So don't. You can. You can just kill him. Like at the minimum, you do six damage. There you go. There we go. Big death. And there's a body. She, your grave person, can get rid of bodies. Or is it your plague dealer? I don't know. I honestly can't remember. Yep. Someone. Someone clears bodies. You get pushed. Nope. Dude. Finally things are going my way. <laughs> Illumination. Bypass stealth. Dazzling light. Has a chance to stun. Heal. <laughs> yeah. She's going to be main healer. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Uh. Yeah, it was. It was the plague dude. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, keep darting people. Just axe the face. Well, probably get rid of corpse too, no? Well, you don't know if that's going to kill him or not. How much blight does he do? Does he take? Uh, well, he... it's just a pickaxe. Yeah, but how much blight does that skeleton take every turn? Uh... Mouse over the... Ah, here you go. Five. Five. So it will die. So yeah, you can go ahead and just hit the body. Okay. He'll die in his turn. Arr! There you go. And he doesn't leave a body. And then you can uh, blight her again because it stacks. Oh, does it stack? It stacks. Every oh, time you no blight idea. somebody, it just does more and more damage. Huh. So how much she does? How much is happening to her right now? Seven. So she's every die. turn. Yeah. Huh. So it doesn't even matter if you miss her or not. But just... Hmm. <laughs> you did it. Well, I mean, I want all of it. Yeah. Give it to. And me. then click on the box. Click on the box. And then drag a key in there. Uh, Bam! Nice. Who put <laughs> Wow. That food can... Like, look at the so. state of this room. That food cannot be good anymore. <laughs> so useful. What'd you find? Hunk of cheese? Oh. I'll tell you what. Next time, we'll finish this whole quest out. Yeah. How do you say to that? Yeah, I'm down. See if no one dies. <laughs> Again. Again. I did not expect that in the first five seconds of the yeah, game. Yeah, me either. All right, well, see you next time. Bye.